Dear students, today our topic is measuring cylinder. What is measuring cylinder? In for what purpose we use measuring cylinder? <clears throat> measuring cylinder is a common piece of laboratory equipment used to measure the volume of a liquid or solid. If you want to measure the volume of a liquid, so we use measuring cylinder. Measuring cylinder is made of plastic, transparent plastic or glass. Measuring cylinder is made of transparent plastic or glass. It has a vertical scale in milliliter or cubic centimeter. A vertical scale in milliliter or cubic centimeter. If we want to find the volume of a liquid, so we will pour that liquid in measuring cylinder. When we pour the liquid in measuring cylinder to read the volume accurately, the observation must be at an eye contact, at an eye level, and read it at the bottom of a meniscus of the liquid level. So, if for accurate observation, it should be at an eye level. We should see it from here and at the bottom of meniscus. What is meniscus? The curved upper surface of a non turbulent liquid. The curved, you see here, the curved, the curved upper surface of a non turbulent liquid is called meniscus. So far accurate observation we should read it at the bottom of a meniscus. And another thing if we observe it above the eye level or below the eye level. So then our observation will not be accurate. Similarly, so these are the uses of, if you want, so then we will read it, suppose it is 30 milliliter. So we can find the volume of a liquid in this way. Now, if you want to find the volume of a regular solid object, you know that we can find the volume of regular shaped solid, suppose regular uh, solid object. So we can find the volume by multiplying length with height but if so of irregular shape bodies we can find the volume by simple formulas but if we have a regular solid object it, it, it is difficult to find the volume by simple formula so for this purpose to find the volume of this irregular solid object we use measuring cylinder so how we can find, so if you want to find the volume of this uh, irregular shaped body, first of all, we will pour the liquid in this, we will find the initial volume. Suppose the initial volume is 30 milliliter. After that, we will put that solid thing, irregular shaped body in this measuring cylinder. So you will see raise in the volume of uh, uh, water of liquid. So suppose if you observe it, it is 50 milliliter. Volume 2 or VF, you can say, suppose VF final volume is 50 milliliter. So what will be the volume of liquid? That will be VF minus VI, 50 minus 30 milliliter. So it will be 20 milliliter. So this is the process that we can find the volume of a liquid and as well as date of a solid object. Today this was this was our topic uh, students inshallah tomorrow we will discuss another topic. Thank you and have a